<laughs> just, just something crazy not happen like every time I turn my camera. <laughs> Sorry, but I just was taking my, I didn't want to do this on camera. I was taking my, my pills and I, I took a sip and then I set this down and right as I set it down, I went, Pfft. so it's kind of scared me. And after what I tell you guys, what's been going on in this house, the past few days to follow up on that crazy weekend what was it the weekend before last or whatever um, this is weird placement of the camera everything is weird in my house right now because I'm getting as you know I'm getting ready to move I think knock on wood I think my closing date might be July um, so what I'm looking for July 5th but uh, we have to wait for that appraisal to come in I'm telling you it's like I don't, want to, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Like the, the whole like housing situation and mortgage situation, how long it takes for things to get processed now is absurd. Um, I haven't even tried these yet, but I have these on my counter because the kind folks from Rebootizer sent me this stuff. Um, powerful antioxidant instant drink. And they say, if you go on their site, they say this is great for hangovers. Not that I've had one of those in a while. But if I do drink, sometimes it's easy to have a hangover. Uh, but it's supposed to be a detox. So you, let's see, it says, drink before bed, before bed, after a party to wake up fresh. Once a day as a detox regimen to help eliminate toxins regularly. So you squeeze, mix the squeeze, shake, drink. I'll have to do this off camera because we all know if I tried to do this right now, it would explode all over myself. But I'll tell you about this a little bit later because what's in here? Lemon extract. I have no idea how to say this. Acerola, Acarola extract, lemon balm leaf extract, artichoke flower extract, angel angelica root extract, licorice root extract, dandelion root extract. That's their proprietary blend. It's also got vodka in it. I'm just kidding. Um, so anyway, I will let you know about that. I'm kind of excited to try that. Um, also, I did find out, <laughs> I talked to my friend Kelly at GNC, um, because now that I am using the whole genetics HD program to complement my fat loss and my workouts and everything. I was a little confused because I saw um, Jess, the blonde ponytail, her blog review, and she was kind of saying, this is how I take it and this is what I've been eating. Anyway, um, and I realized that I was taking it differently than she was, so I asked Kelly, I'm like, am I taking this wrong? And she said that the best way, so here's how I'm taking this now. When I get up in the morning, I take the, um, the uh, physio, is that the physio burn? Meta Ignite, physio burn is the powder. You put the powder, that's that great red stuff. So I put that in a shaker and I have that first thing in the morning. Then I have my breakfast. Then I take the three pills all together before my workout. So I just took the three pills because I'm getting ready to do my workout. And then these, are taken in addition to your multivitamin. Because of course I was looking at this going, are these my multivitamin or is this in addition to multivitamin? So you take this in addition to your multivitamin, take this with your meal at dinner. So I am going to be doing, adding this with my dinner, um, this before the workout, and then I take the physio burn when I first wake up. But Jess lost 3% body fat in, was it three to four weeks? I don't know if it was three weeks or six weeks, but I'll have to look on it. She she did it to the nail. So um, one of the things that I am going to do for myself, because I've been very happy with my results, but I am realizing that there's one area where I'm, I'm, I have a weakness that I think it could prevent me from being, you know, really, really good um, or making my results continue to be as good, if not better than they have. And here's the thing I asked Val, like, can I add more cardio? Can I add more running? Um, because I'm, you know, now that I've seen this fat loss, I, I want more. And yet I want it in the right way and whatnot. And she said, you know, I don't want you to do too much. You, sorry, this top underneath is all jacked. She said, I don't want you to do too much. You have a tendency to overtrain. I don't want you to get into adrenal fatigue again. So she told me what I can do is every other day, so I'm getting ready to do my circuits. I do my circuits every other day. And then in between those days, I do my, my running. Those are gonna be longer runs. So the like if I do Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, those will be, I gotta, I gotta go do my workout. Um, those will be um, about maybe closer to 40, 45 minutes. And then on two other days a week, if I want to, I can add like half an hour, 20 minute run 
in addition on the days that I do the circuits. So that's what she said. But she's like, if you really, really, really want to be, you know, amping it up a notch, just make sure that your diet is spectacular. So one of the things I did is I am starting to, instead of going, oh yeah, I, I know exactly where I am in my head. Um, and I usually will use fitday.com to record my calories and making sure that I'm writing it out. Because this way, what I think I've been doing a little bit of the past week or so is instead of having like meal one, snack, meal two, snack, it tends to be more like I'm getting in what should be in the meals but kind of sporadically throughout the day. So you see what I'm saying? Like I might have, instead of having this snack which would be almonds and, um, or like an apple and almond butter. I would have an apple here, an almond butter there, you know, um, on something else, you know, that's not the way it's supposed to be. There's a reason, there's a method behind what Val has mapped out here. And so I wanted to make sure that I was doing a breakfast and then a snack and then a lunch and then a snack and then dinner and then that's it. So number one is I got a book out and I'm gonna be recording my workouts in here and my, um, this cute? my workouts and my meals so that they're exact. Here's the thing guys, the details count, especially when you're getting close, you know? If you're in your last whatever pounds it is, if it's 10 or if it's 20, uh, maybe for somebody else who's lost a lot of weight, you might be in your last 50. Those are gonna be your hardest. Um, and then the other area that I've recognized in myself is an area where I can tend to go over um, really easily without planning on it. And then all of a sudden you can go, shit, I just had an extra 300 calories, hummus. Guys, I freaking love hummus. I could eat cases of it at one time. And there was one night earlier this week, I told you I'm clothes on the way, so I tend to be thinking about food a little bit more. And I got, this isn't bad, it's not like the food is bad, it's not like I'm binging or anything, but I got um, some peppers, and then I was dipping them in the hummus, and I looked down and I'm like, my God, my serving is a fourth of a cup. I already had a fourth of a cup on my salad, and here I'm having, you know, like another fourth of a cup. If you do that every day, you know, that's an extra two or 300 calories. I can't do that. And, and Val told me I'm allowed to have a fourth of a cup of hummus a day, and I just found myself, because what I would always do is that would be my, my salad, my lunch salad, whether I had tilapia or salmon or chicken and then I, or tempa on a salad, and then I'd put that as my salad dressing on it. But then I was still having more the rest of the day. And it's like, okay, if that's the only area where I'm really not following directions and being spot on, I'm willing to like give that up for a month just to be strict. So I asked my girls, a lot of my Fitfluential girls, to give me some alternatives for salad dressings, things that I won't tend to want to you know, dip in the rest of the um, day. And I'll put the link up, but I have a whole page here. Healthy Girls Kitchen. There's almond ginger dressing, Chef AJ Husband's favorite, no oil balsamic, inspired orange hummus dressing, cashew currant dressing, roasted red pepper vinaigrette. Ooh, I like that. Um, bunch of dressings, so I'm gonna share that with you, but that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna cut out hummus for a while, um, not forever. It's, I don't view it as a bad food. It's just, in some way, it's kind of a trigger food for me. And if I wanna keep, you know, if I look at my arms and I'm like, wow, this is great, but I can still pinch this fat, how do you lose the fat? You lose the fat by paying attention to your diet. Obviously, my workouts are going great. Gotta tighten up the diet. If I wanna keep having these results and keep continuing down there, I can't be like, because that's the difference between maintaining and losing, period. So you gotta be able to willing, you have to be able and willing to look really hard at what you're doing and be really honest with yourself because if you're not, you're gonna be that person who's bitching about it. I can't believe I haven't lost any weight. Enough said. I gotta go work out because I have just 45 minutes before my next call and I'm gonna get my work at it instead of going, oh, I don't have time, I'm doing it. So I will talk to you guys later. Have a good weekend.